Hello to everyone following the Web Intersect series. Today we're going to be putting in a drop down menu because it looks as though from the develop PHP poll that people want to see private messaging before any of this other stuff. So I'm going to show a private messaging system very quickly in the next tutorial but in this tutorial real quick it's going to be very very fast and very short. I'm going to show you how to put a drop down menu on this account button and I don't want everybody to just see a drop down menu there and be like oh how did Adam do that I'm gonna show you every little bit of how I do that right now okay and what I'm about to show you is so easy anybody could do it uh, like an old lady that's 95 has never seen the internet doesn't even know what a website is she can do this a little baby who just came out of the mother's womb is still a little wet and gooey with the mom's ooze all over it this baby can do this so don't tell me you're having trouble it's so very easy we'll go to uh, develop PHP and we'll put in pure CSS and it should come up in the search bar we'll put in pure CSS click search and then the first one is pure CSS drop down menu W3C validated works in all major browsers that's the one I want and I made this tutorial a little while ago I don't know what time it was March 9 2010 I did this and I made this from scratch with my own bare hands with chisel and hammered alright now what we're gonna do is simply grab this HTML actually we only need one I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna go to my files I'm gonna open the web intersect scripts check user log and here is where we make our log options for the logged in user whether they're logged in or logged out here's where those options get created the HTML that is displayed in the header so this is where I have to put this so right here here's account I want to trade that for a drop down so let's just comment that out using the comment button there in the HTML let's go a couple of lines down and pop this in now let's trade this from saying drop menu 1 to account and this one just those three for now we'll add some more later when we add some new things to the site but for right now that's good so I'm gonna take that whole div press control C to copy it actually we can put the link let's put the link in there right here where the pound sign is okay that should be good now we're gonna copy that and we'll put the links for the message inbox and the sent box in place when we start creating the private message system which will be in the next lesson now I'm going to place it also here let's comment this one out that's their account button let's go down a couple of lines and let's place in that div once again so that way no matter whether they're coming back from being away from the site for a week and they're using their cookie to be logged in or whether their session is available their session IDX is set so no matter what the scenario the person will have that account drop down now and now all we have to do is open the main.css go to style main and in here down at the bottom we add the rest of what I had on that page there develop PHP all this CSS I don't need the style tag because I'm putting mine right into the main style sheet of the site but I do want all this stuff here so line 64 down here boom I just put in all that and up here where it starts let's get rid of that okay so this is the CSS for the drop down menu okay now we're back at the home page of the site and it should be on every page let's refresh right now it's not there but if we refresh it should be there hopefully and there it is you can see mine is set to align right so all I have to do in the CSS is put right here right here DC text align make sure it's left now it's I FTP'd it up now I'm gonna refresh and let's see what we have this time okay so now it's aligned to the left the way I wanted now I'm gonna go back into the CSS 
and tweak it out just a little bit to get it colored the way I want if I wanted to make it look like buttons to have image backgrounds in each one of those button cells I can do that uh, we could also position it right here where it says left we could change that from 0 to let's say 10 and you'll see the difference when I refresh and top we're gonna bring up a little more because I think there's too much of a space there so let's put that on 13 okay now you see how it's positioned a little better it's right on the underline there or right under the button where it should be so that way there's no question whether somebody's mouse going over it will let them hit those buttons under it when it comes into view if you leave a little space in here there it, it could make it to where it doesn't function correctly if the person's moving their mouse slowly enough over it but we can see that I went the wrong way there with my left maybe we can make that a minus how about minus five let's see what happens okay so you see there I can position it left or right anywhere I want that box to show up and I can also position the height of where it's going to show up once the mouse goes over it it doesn't have to be right under the account word there but it should be within enough pixel range to where it doesn't go away when they go down when they go off of the word account you want to make sure this menu system doesn't go away and their mouse accesses the first button right away okay so I'm gonna tweak mine out a little more and you can tweak yours to look any way you like and in the next lesson we'll start this private messaging system which is pretty simple